This is fast forwarded to, I believe this may have been 2000, 2007, 2007 is when it was, and 2007 was a crazy year. So 2007, um, I get a phone call from a buddy of mine and he's like, hey, I'm downtown and this dude just threatened me with a gun, um, you know, saying he was going to shoot me, blah, blah, blah. I'm down here. I ain't got no gun you know, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, leave. Like, <laughs> what are you calling me for? You want me to come down there when you just leave? It's going to take me 30 minutes to get there anyway. Leave. And that's a whole nother story. I can't tell you how many times I've been called. So anyways, but I'm with his younger brother. So his younger brother's like, man, just take me down there. So I take his little brother down there. And as soon as we get down there, he sees me and he gets hyped like, Yes, Eugene's here. And in his mind, you know, the the gun guy's here. Like, you know, I'm also working at the gun range at this time. I'm just well known for firearms, right? I'm, I'm good with this stuff, right? Um, so he's pumped like he has Doc Holliday on his side or something. I leave. I see that what's going on don't look right. These guys look like... They ain't doing the right things down here, right? So I bounce. A week or two, two weeks at the most, two weeks later, pretty much same thing, almost identical happens. But this time he calls Jay. Now, Jay has guns too. He's not in my league, but he has guns. And so... He calls Jay, and I don't know what he said to him or whatever, but he calls Jay, and Jay went down downtown Seattle with him. And so they're downtown Seattle, and they're just, like, hanging out, partying, whatever, you know, club bouncing, whatever they're doing. And so they end up on this one, in this one little block, like, in between um, bars. And my buddy sees... Jay sees a girl who at first looks like she's alone. So he, he like says something to her, like from across the street, like he was going to go approach her. And as soon as he does that, her boyfriend like walks up to her and he's like, okay. And the dude's like, hey, fuck you doing talking to my girl. Ooh, ooh. And so my boy Jay's like, and this is somebody who got, he can fight, right? Like good. But. Who knows? Anyhow. <clears throat> Anyhow. Um, Jay ignores him, but the dude like starts walking towards him. So Jay walks away. And as he's walking away, the dude is following him with his girl and he's just talking. Mother F, are you talking to my girl, this, that, and the other? I'll beat your this, that, and you know, just talking crazy. And gets to threaten him, you know, like, yeah, you pussy, I'll fucking kill you, woo woo, I'll do this, and he's just going off, and, and they say the guy was, what looks, it sounded like he had been drinking, because they're in this area where there's bars, and so he's, he probably left a bar with her, he'd been drinking, so he's just going off at the mouth, so my boy starts walking towards his, his car, and this guy doesn't know where he's walking to, but he's just walking away, like he walked around the corner away from his buddies. Now, he could have stayed there. His buddies is there. There's like four of them if they want. I mean, they could have jumped the guy, but it, that's not what he is off of anyway. He was just trying to walk away at first. But as it kept going, he beelined to his his car. So he's walking straight to his car. This guy's behind him. Ah, he's just talking big old, big old smack. Um, and Jay literally hits the button and pops the trunk. Grabs his SKS, 
turns around, aims it at the guy's face, who's with this girl, aims it at his face, and said, you gonna do what to me? Boom. Blows his head off right there with the SKS, downtown Seattle. That bullet went through him down, it went two blocks down the street and hit somebody in the leg. Yeah. <clears throat> he takes off. He closes his trunk. He takes off running. And uh, he, 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 what he does is he, he opens, he runs down the alleyways, takes his SKS and, and dumps it, and then keeps on running like two alleyways down or something like that jumps in a garbage can and a you know opens up jumps in the garbage can and just lays in there so everybody's going like i'm getting calls from people everywhere oh my god something jj jay just shot somebody jay just shot and that's about every, all they know because all they know is they seen this dude that was like you know talking his bs to jay they seen that and they kind of started going in that direction like who was just talking to but by, before they even hit the corner, they hear the boom. And then that kind of scares them. So they backed up a little bit. But then they're like, oh, did he shoot Jay? They run around the corner. No, it's the reverse. Jay shot him. And uh, one of the guys that was there, when he seen the guy on the ground, it bothered him so much. Like he almost threw up. He said it was the, it was the grossest thing he had ever seen. And this is, this is somebody that most people would consider hardcore and all yeah well he's seen that and he's ah you know and takes off running well anyway after about i think it took him like three hours and they finally they found him they found jay hiding in the garbage and uh he was only maybe two blocks away from uh the pike place market okay when they found him uh for you guys who for both of you who both know seattle and don't know seattle Pike Place Market. So anyway, um, long story short, um, they gave him, he got, he got a total of 18 years and I believe they put another four on it for the person who got hit in the leg two blocks down the, down the street. So, um, pretty stupid thing to do right pretty stupid thing to do i don't care that somebody is is like the guy's threatening him he's walking behind him he's threatening him but it's kind of like first of all it's obvious that this guy's not actually going to do anything if he was i think he did it by now second you you shouldn't be react you don't react like that unless you have proof that this guy is literally trying to kill you okay so just because somebody just says it, hey, man, I'm going I'm to I'm do this, I'm going to do that to you. If they don't have an object in their hand, you can't, you don't go just to gun and, okay, or you are, boom, and blow, and blow their head off. And for you who think, yeah, you can, well, go ahead and catch 18 years. So anyhow, um, yeah, that happened in 2007. And... Um, Wrong move, obviously. You know, it was just an event of a bunch of ignorance, alcohol. Another reason I absolutely hate, I hate alcohol. I hate alcohol. And this is just another, you know, I'm not saying this is all because of alcohol, but both parties have been drinking. I'm sure there was some drugs. I'm sure there was. I don't have 100% proof of that, but I'm sure there was. Um, and, you know, wrong on that guy's part you don't go down the road following somebody talk, you're talking about you know and it's not like he kept on talking to this girl while you, he it was over as soon as oh there's a guy who didn't see and he's just yeah following him three blocks following him you know talking all this so he was wrong for that does that mean she have his head blown off no um but that was that was not a good move and it was a complete wrong ignorant stupid move um Obviously, what Jay did, um, wrong, morally wrong, uh, legally wrong, pretty much wrong in every way you can think of. Unless that guy had 
had a knife in his hand and was like, yeah, I'm about to stab you or, you know, something to that, you know, something like that, then, okay, defend yourself. But there's nothing there, you know. And so the reason he didn't get life or anything like that is, is because there was, there was, um, there were people who seen that this guy was following him for blocks and yelling at him and, you know, cursing and, you know, I'm going to do this. And so people seen that. So he tried to say self-defense, but it's like, that's not self-defense. Like, I get it, but that's not self-defense. And you took it to the max, like beyond the max, you know? So, uh, yeah, just a quick story of somebody I grew up with that, uh, made wrong moves in life, took the wrong turn, made a wrong decision, and is paying for it. Let me out.